Hello Eisenhower artists. With this lesson you'll be learning how to make new colors with these three primary colors. Blue, red, and yellow are the three primary colors. These colors are so special because when you mix them you get new colors. We're going to draw ladybugs to show how to make the new colors. These new colors are called secondary colors. And when you put the primary colors together with the secondary colors, you get all six colors of the color wheel. In rainbow order, this is what the color wheel looks like. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. If you mix red and yellow, you're going to get orange. So we're going to draw a ladybug with the wings have the primary color, red and yellow, and those two colors mixed together give you orange. And the next ladybug will also have wings with the primary colors, yellow and blue. When you mix those together, you get green. And then the third ladybug has wings with primary colors. When you mix red and blue, you get purple. Okay, so here's what you need to do this drawing. You're going to use a pencil, you need a black marker, and then you need the six colors of the color wheel. You can use crayons or you could also use markers. You'll also be using a can. This is to get the circle shape. So you can use a can from your kitchen or maybe a plastic cup. Something about this size, not too much bigger than the size of the can. All right, so your paper should be plain white paper and we're gonna fold the page to give us the guidelines, just like we did last time. So I want you to fold it in half this way, like a book. And remember you make it a soft fold, don't smash it down very flat. Open it up and then fold it like this so it's tall and narrow, a soft fold. Now you have the guidelines on your page and you have four parts of your page. With the item that you're going to trace, the cup or the can, you're going to put it on this side in this corner, put it up next to this fold, the middle fold right here. So put it on the side next to that fold and trace your first circle. Trace around the can like that. Remember, don't push very hard with your pencil because you're going to erase that pencil later. And then put your tracing can over here on this side. Put it right against that fold in the middle of this square. And trace around this can again. Okay, that's two circles for two ladybugs. And then we're going to draw three circles. So that one's going to go up here near the top. Put the can right on this middle fold, right there, for the third circle. Okay, so we have three circles that we drew tracing something to get a nice circle shape. At the top of each circle, put your finger on the top of the circle and make a little dot. That's going to be a guideline. Look at your next circle. Put your finger on top and make a dot. Finger on top of this one and make a dot. Okay, now I want you to think of the letter A. Does anybody have the letter A in their name? The letter A, a capital A looks like this. You go up and down, right? And then across like that. The capital A. See these lines in the capital A? These are called diagonal lines. They slant like this, the letter A, a diagonal line. We're going to use that diagonal line to make the ladybug wings. Start right here where we put that dot. Put your pencil there on the dot and then go down diagonal. Keep going, keep going all the way off your circle. 
about that long. Go back to the dot at the top, diagonal line, go down, 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 off the circle. See that? Right about that size. Now, we're going to skip this line that goes here for the A. We don't need that on the ladybug, but we do need these diagonal lines. Okay, let's do another one. We have three circles. Go to your dot, start at the top, go down, diagonal, right off the circle, keep going, about that long. Start at the top, down, these diagonal lines. Okay, the last circle, start at the top, diagonal, keep going, don't touch the other ladybug. Stop right there. Diagonal. Okay, now we're gonna finish making the wings. So at the bottom of the line, put a dot. The bottom of the line. Now you're gonna start at the bottom and you're gonna make a curve. Go, go swing out like this and make a curve and then touch the other part of the ladybug. Okay, so start at the bottom. You're going to make a nice curve. See this? Curve. 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 That's going to make the ladybug wings. Okay? So make sure you go out with a nice curve and then go up until you touch the other part of the ladybug. And then we're going to get rid of this line. We don't need that line anymore. Look what happens when we erase that line in the middle. Ooh, the ladybug wings up here. Okay, let's do the next one. So you start at the bottom, down here, make a curve, keep going until you touch that part of the ladybug. Start at the bottom, make a curve, keep going up, 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 and touch that part of the ladybug. Erase the line here, and you made a wing. Okay, I'm going to do this one. Curve, go up and touch the ladybug. Start at the bottom, curve, go up. Okay, you can hit pause and do these wings. You might want to rewind. Watch me do it again. So do all these three wings and then get back to me. Now we're gonna do the ladybug head and the eyes. Don't do these spots. That's the very, very last step we do. The dots will be the very last thing we do on top of the color. So let's do the head next. Look at that dot we put there at the top. You're going to put a big rainbow curve right on top of that dot. See that? Okay. Look at the dot at the top. Go on the side and make a big rainbow curve right over the dot. Rainbow curve right over the dot. Now, on the ladybug head, we're going to put two big eyes. Don't make the eyes too small. Okay, we want big eyes. So on one side, put a big circle that touches the edge, and then another circle, and it touches the edge of the head. And then inside that circle, I want you to put a U, the letter U. Do you know what the letter U looks like? Sometimes you write the letter U like this with a line on the side. U. Some people write the letter U without that line on the side. U like in the word bug. That U shape. That's what you're going to do in the middle of the eye. U. Okay. I'll show you again. You have two big circles. It touches the side. And then the letter U goes in the middle. A big letter U. Don't draw small. Okay, do you need to pause and do the eyes? Okay, ladybugs have this part right here called antenna. You can make yours long or short. They can curve in the same direction. Or maybe they can curve in opposite directions. One goes this way. And they have little circles at the end. One goes that way. This one here at the top, there's not very much room for the antenna on this one, so put your antenna here on the side. 
They can be short, they can be long, they can curve any direction you want. All right, friends, how do these ladybugs look? Did you get the big eyes and the wings? Did you erase that line in the middle of the wing? Now everybody's ladybug is gonna be a different shape. Look at mine on my page, they're all kind of different also. Okay, next is the step that I always call trace and erase trace and erase. Find your black marker. If you don't have a black marker, maybe you can use a pen. You might have a black pen or you could use a black crayon. First see if you have a black marker. So we're going to trace all the pencil lines. I like to do it this way. Watch me do this one. Start at the bottom of the wing and go up. Take your time. Don't go fast. I like to turn the page like this, okay, and you're just going to cover up those pencil lines. So I like to do that curve first. And then remember the diagonal lines, make the line touch down here. And then the curve in the middle is the ladybug's body. The head, remember that big rainbow curve, two big eyes. And the letter, what's that letter in the middle? U, letter U. Okay, the antenna has a little circle. We get to draw lots of circles today. I'm going to hit double speed and you can watch me trace and erase all of my pencil lines for the ladybug. Ready and go. Okay, friends. Also in this step, there's a few parts that you can color in black. So the middle of the eye right here where the U shape is, make that black. The little circles on your antenna, make that black. Don't do the spots yet. Remember, the spots go on top of all the color. So don't do the ladybug spots. That's the very last step. All right, so let's do purple first. How do we make purple? You need red and you need blue. When you mix red and blue, you get purple. So let's look at the ladybug wings. You're gonna make one wing red. So on this side, we're gonna make red. Use your crayon. You might also have markers that you want to use for this ladybug drawing. That would be good. Now remember when you're adding color, don't scribble in big spaces like this. Work in one little patch like this, and then go down and make another patch of red next to it. And pretty soon all of the red comes together and you have some very good looking red color on your drawing. In art, color, in art class, you're learning about your craftsmanship. That means, are you taking time to put the color on your page and make it look very neat and tidy? Are you taking care to put lots of color until all the white spaces of the paper is covered up? All right, that's your artistic craftsmanship that you learn in art class. So, we're making purple. Red and blue make purple. So make sure on this wing you're going to put blue. Lots of blue. Cover up all that white paper. Okay, so I've got the two primary colors, red and blue. That's going to make a secondary color, purple. Purple goes right in the middle. That's the ladybug's body. Okay, on the head of the ladybug, use a black crayon and put a little bit of black color right there on the ladybug's he head. Be careful, don't touch the eyes. It would be nice if you left that part of the eye white. So just a little bit of black right there on the ladybug's head. Just like that, use the edge of your crayon to get into a little space. If you have a gray marker, that would be good to use here on your ladybug's head. 
right there to fill in the space for the ladybug's head. Let's make green. To make green, you need blue and yellow. So blue on one wing, yellow on the other wing, and in the middle, we have green. Yellow plus blue makes green. Yellow on one side, blue on the other side, and in the middle, it makes green. So pause the video and we're gonna color in these spaces. Okay, let's make the last secondary color. Start with the primary colors, right? Red, yellow, blue. We need to make orange. Red and yellow, when you mix those two colors, you get orange. So put red on one wing, yellow on the other wing, it makes orange. I'm gonna start red over here, yellow on the other wing, when you mix those two colors, you get orange. So orange goes here in the middle. All right, pause the video, fill in those three colors. Okay, friends, don't give up. Keep going until you have lots and lots of color on all of your ladybug wings. You can go back and add more color and maybe you don't finish this drawing all at one time. Maybe you can do part of it now and then do part of it again tomorrow. Okay, it's really important to, to um, practice your color skills and put lots of color on your page. I think that needs a little more red. So I'm going to go back right on top. Okay, I think it's time for the ladybug spots. So find your black crayon and you should put at least three spots. You could put more if you want. Let's do this one first. Start going around and around in a circle and keep going around and around until you fill in the shape, okay? Don't draw small. Let's make this one bigger. Around and around, keep going till it, and fill it in with a dark black spot. See what happens if I don't push hard enough? It doesn't look very black. You need to push into the paper, press down. Don't worry if your crayon breaks because that happens to me all the time. We can use crayons in all different sizes. So I fit three dots there. You can fit at least three dots on each ladybug wing. Okay friends, I'm finishing up the dots on my ladybug. I can't wait to see what you drew today. Let's say the names of the secondary colors. We're gonna say the name by looking at the color on the body of the ladybug. All right, so repeat after me. Secondary color, purple. Secondary color, orange. Say it out loud. Say it after me. Secondary color, green. Okay, I hope you had lots of fun learning about the secondary colors today. I'll see you next time.